Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'd like to share with you about 20 crochet tools that I find quite valuable. Yarn skein holders and yarn bowls work great to keep your yarn from rolling around all over the floor as you work. Some holders even support double skeins of yarn. If you want to keep your yarn neat and tidy and of a consistent size, these yarn winders work great. You get a nice cake of yarn once completed. Speaking of yarn, if you ever need assistance in matching colors or even multiple tints and shades of a hue family, this artist color wheel is extremely helpful. You can match up contrasting colors or complementary colors or even multiple tints and shades of a hue family. Depending upon what yarn you use, you might need to block your work. Blocking refers to the process of flattening, straightening, or lining up sides to a more consistent size without damaging the texture or loft of the yarn or thread. I generally use a quilter's pressing board because it has a nice grid on it for measuring. Then I use stainless steel pins or blocking wires to help hold items in place. A little water or steam usually makes the work look nice and neat. Speaking of making the work look nice and neat, a set of tweezers do a wonderful job. I have long hair, my daughter has long hair, plus we have two beagles who shed their hair all over the place. Tweezers are a lifesaver for getting those stray hairs out of the crochet work. I should probably talk about crochet hooks now, right? I like using the small steel ones for doing fine thread and crochet work. I have an assortment of hooks for regular yarn. Plus, I have quite a collection of Tunisian crochet hooks, sometimes called Afghan crochet hooks. Even the smallest Tunisian crochet hook is still rather long compared to a regular crochet crochet hook. Then there are the extended Tunisian crochet hooks, which are used for larger items like blankets. The flexible, thicker fishing wire type of tubing on the end can hold several hundred stitches for larger items. Oh, and if you've seen my older videos, you might have seen the one where I put polymer clay on an aluminum crochet hook and bake it. If you add a little bit of heat resistant glitter to the clay, you can make these nice blingy crochet hooks. By the way, on that Tunisian sample, you might have noticed a stitch mark. I use these all of the time to mark stitches, rows, as well as hold that loop in place if I need to place my project down. Other useful tools include these clips. You can use hair clips or quilting clips or yarn clips to hold your crochet work together if you need to seam the ends together. It's much better to clip the pieces together, especially if you need to line up stripes or other color changes. Scissors are very important. I tend to sway towards the pointy small scissors, mainly because they cut the yarn precisely precisely in one swoop. They come in all sorts of shapes and sizes these days. Plus, they also have sheaths online to help cover the tips. Or if you also knit, you can use a knitting needles point protector on the tip of the scissors. They make some neat stitch counters and row counters these days. You can use the traditional type, or they have these new digital ones as well. Pom-pom makers are fun and useful if you find yourself needing to make a lot of pom-poms that are of a consistent size. These days, they make everything with bling on it, so I couldn't resist getting this yarn needle case. And there are so many yarn needles on the market today that it's best to try at least one of each. If your eyesight needs some assistance, these yarn needle threaders really help with getting the yarn into the needle fast and easy. You may have seen me use these rings in some of my videos. They are kind of neat. Instead of wrapping the yarn around your finger or between your fingers, you can wrap the yarn around the ring to serve as a guide. I tend to use these with scratchy type of yarn since my skin can be a bit sensitive. And finally, if you take your knitting or crochet work with you outside of the home, these travel bags are amazing. You can fit several skeins of yarn inside and keep them clean and neat when crocheting. There are plenty of pockets for crochet hooks as well as knitting needles. And that's it. These are some of my favorite crochet tools that I use quite often in my work.